two, three. Good afternoon, students. I am Xavier, working as an English teacher at Bethel Mission School, Gonda. And I'm really happy to be with you this afternoon. So as we all know, we are going through a very difficult situation. The pandemic, the, the epidemic that is breaking out and I hope everybody is safe at home. So when you people are at home, spending your time in a very leisurely manner, it is also necessary for us to be in touch with the books because once the schools reopen, we have to attend classes. So in order to spend your time in a very useful and a constructive manner, I would like to kind of start a lesson for class 9 students. The first lesson is from the book Behind and that is the fun they had. So if you see, I have underlined this word fun because the whole lesson is dependent on this particular word fun. What is this fun? In general sense, fun is a kind of enjoyment that we have when we go out for a picnic, when we watch a movie, when we have a dance or when we have a get together, that is a fun. But in this lesson, the fun the students have is a different sort of fun. What is that fun? Before we get into that aspect, let me kind of draw your attention to these two aspects. That is, the mechanical school and the virtual school. Well, in today's world, we come to school, we learn under the guidance of teachers, teachers teach us, they give us assignments, and we are very happy coming to school, doing our lessons, and after that we go back. We do everything together in a school. Everything together. But after a few years from now, let us say in the year 1257, what will be the schools like in the world? What will the atmosphere be? What will the relationship between the teachers and students be? That exactly is the point that we should reflect upon or ponder over. So how will the schools be in the year 1257? We will not have these schools. Virtual schools will be out of the sea. There won't be any teachers coming to school and teaching you. And you will not be busy with the books printed with paper. Rather, the concept of machine learning, the concept of mechanical learning, the concept of artificial intelligence will come into practice. And what is this artificial intelligence? It is not learning with the help of a teacher. It is learning with the help of a machine. So in today's world, we see lots of virtual reality kits. Many virtual reality kits are available in the market. Students, they buy them. People, they buy them. And it is a kind of kit that takes you into an imaginary world, but almost 100% real. Not 100%, I wouldn't say 100%, 99% real. It gives you the feeling that you are in a real world. In fact, you are not in a real world. The kit makes you believe that. And students, they get addicted to that. So, in the year 1257, all the homes, every home, will probably have a machine. And the learning will be based on the commands and instructions given by the machine. Students will be sitting in front of the machine. They will be playing with their computers, which are fit into the machine. They will do their lessons every day. And there will be a particular kind of adjustment to do their homework. The machine will evaluate. Everything will be based on machine. So, a human being will learn with a machine and a machine will control the human mind. And it is not one-to-one -one learning. It is not one-on-one -on -one learning. It is not a human teacher coming and teaching, but the machines. So we are going into the world of machines very soon. Okay. Now, let us come to this particular point that is Tommy and Munch. The title of the lesson is The Fun They Had and the two characters in this lesson are a boy and a girl. So who is the boy? Tommy is the boy, he's 13 years of age and Margie is a girl who is 11 years of age. 
right? Now these two children, they are living in the year 1257. So, Margie is sitting at home with her machine. The machine is giving her lessons. Her mother is monitoring whether she is doing the lessons with the help of the machines or not. And Tommy, who is a friend of Margie, comes to her house. And he is coming with a book. And the book is the book that we use these days. Books which, is, which are printed with paper. So what happens? Margie seems to be quite excited. She's asking Tommy, Tommy, what is this? And Tommy says, this is a book. A book? She's not able to accept the fact that it is a book because she doesn't know what a book that is made of paper is. She's quite ignorant of the fact that books can be made of paper. Then she's asking him, what is this book about? So Tommy had found it on the terrace, that is on the attic. Attic means a storeroom just below the roof. So he brings that book and they start reading that. And this girl is excited and she's asking, what is this book about? And he says, you know Margie, this book is about school. What school? She doesn't like school. Why? Because the machine seems to be exacting a lot of what you call labor. So she's bored. Doing the same thing again and again, no interaction, only obeying the commands. So she has a very bad idea about school, a negative idea about school and she tells Tommy what kind of school that the book is talking about. Then Margie is 30 years older to Margie, I mean Tommy. So Tommy says, you see this is not the kind of school that we are having today. This book is about schools which were run by the teachers. For her, the regular teacher was all that mattered. For her, the concept of teacher was a machine. But Tommy says, no, 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 no. In those days, teachers were human beings. And she could not accept the fact, how can a man teach? I don't want a man in my house. I don't like a man coming into my house and teaching. How can a man teach? Then Tommy tells her, you see, my grandfather and my grandfather's grandfather, they all used these books, you know. They went to the same school. She's not able to accept. How come? Yes, and there was only one building. Really? And one teacher. Really? How can it be possible? Yes, that was the schools that existed in those times. And one teacher, he was teaching all the students. All the students? Yes, of course. And they had a lot of fun. Now comes the word fun. So he says, they had a lot of fun. Then Margie is asking, what kind of fun did they have? Well, this is the fun that they had. And what is the fun? They learned together. Learned together? Yes, they were all of the same age. And they all had the same subject. And one teacher was teaching. And they were all interested in knowing about what the teacher was teaching. Really? Now she begins to think more and more about the manual schools. Then the second point, he goes a little further because he's matured. So he said, they were cooperating. Cooperating? How did they cooperate? Well, when the teacher gave some, what do you call, homework or assignment, they consulted with each other. When they had any doubts, they asked and the teacher was able to kind of give the clearance. He was able to clarify. Oh, really? She was very much fed up when he spoke about this cooperation. Because when Margie was learning with the help of the machine, she was very poor in geography. The level. See, one disadvantage of this machine learning is that the machine only gives you the commands. You obey the command. You cannot interact with the machine. There is no interaction. So once what happened, the machine went blank. Why? There was a virus and therefore the virus affected the computer. So all the files were deleted. So Tommy once had to go without the machine for one month. And the geography lessons for Margie was difficult because the difficulty level was very, very high. She was not able to answer the questions. She was 
faring very poorly in the geography. So her mother was upset. She called an inspector. A county inspector comes. I have not mentioned that yet. He comes. He opens the machine. When he opened the machine, well, she was very excited. Now this man will not be able to put it back and I will not have any machine. I will have some free time now. But unfortunately, that man was an expert. So he made set things right. And again, Margie started learning geography because the difficulty level was brought down. So she never had a very high opinion about the machines. But when Tommy explained that they cooperated, that made her think, my God, I am missing all these wonderful things of the human school. Then they helped in assignments. She was all the more interested. And finally, they shared whatever they brought. They brought lunch to the school. And they shared the lunch. They celebrated birthdays. They distributed toffees. All these details were written in that book. And that made Margie feel jealous of the schools that we are in or we are learning today. Because that was a complete school. It was not just a place of exchanging information. So you see, the children of this age will definitely understand the advantages that we have had. We help each other, we cooperate with each other, we cry, we laugh, we dance, we jump, we fight, we come back, we reconcile. All these things are possible in a virtual school. They are not possible in a mechanical school. So, this boy Tommy who is 13 years old, he throws some light on the advantages and the benefits of learning in a school and that is a real fun. It is not just learning, it is learning to live. So you see, information and intelligence. Information and intelligence is equal to mechanical learning. So the mechanical learning will give you all the information that you need in a subject. Plus, it will make you intelligent. But, information, intelligence, plus human values. That makes a complete and a real learning. So real learning happens only in schools. The schools that we are in today. The schools that we exist in today's world. In the year 80, 1257 or even much before that, the manual schools will be reduced. It is a very sad fact. It is a very, very sad fact. The future generations, they will be missing out all that enjoyment and all that experience of learning, okay? They will be missing it out altogether because a machine will start controlling them. So, the aim of education is to make you a human being. It is not just to stuff with information. So that is what the teachers of today are doing. They are doing a great job. And you students are really lucky because you are being taught, you are being motivated, you are being formed, you are being guided by teachers who can understand you. So it is a teacher, a human teacher, alone can understand your difficulties. He can understand your level of learning. He or she can understand your capacity. And it is the human teachers who can follow you. Machines cannot follow you. Machines will give you only commands. They will give you instructions. Either you obey it or not. It is up to you. The freedom is yours. But in a virtual learning, the teachers, they guide you, they motivate you, they shape you, and they help you to live a real human life. They make you fully human. And that is why most of the students, when they pass out of the schools, virtual schools, they think, oh, my teacher did a great job. It is because of my teacher that I am what I am today. So these are the benefits of learning in a school. And the whole lesson is about that. So my dear students, when you read this lesson, when you have some free time at home, just go through this lesson. Read what Tommy says about the book. And also read what Margie reacts, how Margie reacts to the book. 
and also go through these points, the advantages of a virtual school, schools which are being handled by human teachers, that is the teachers. And also find out the difference between the mechanical learning and a virtual learning. To understand the difference is very important. That is what the writer in this lesson is telling us. He indirectly tells us, though mechanical learning may be of a very high standard, though it may make you intelligent, it will not make you a human being. It is only the human teachers who can understand another human being. A machine cannot understand a human being. Only a human being can understand a human being and that is where the greatness of teaching and that is where the greatness of virtual school lies upon. So you read this lesson and there might be some instructions given in the book. You take the textbook, take the textbook, read the text and there are some important questions. Just go through the questions and once the school reopens, we will have a clear discussion about this lesson in the class. Thank you for listening.